اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ثم بعثنا من بعدهم موسا و حارون الى فرعون و ملائه then we sent after them Musa and Harun to Pharaoh and his chiefs bi ayatina with our signs now here they mean they do big miracles fastakbaru they behaved arrogantly wa kanu qaum mujrimin and they were a guilty people fa lamma jaa'u al haqq min indina we have read these things you know in detail when the truth came to them from us qalu inna hadha la sihrun mubin they said it's a clear sorcery it's a magic qala musa taquluna lil haqq lamma ja'akum as sihrun hadha musa said to them ask them are you saying this for the truth that has come to you is it is it magic do you really think it is magic wala yuflihu sahirun and the magicians they will never succeed qalu ajaitana li talfitana amma wajadna ala abana now those chiefs and firon what they said have you come to us so as to turn us away from what we found our four fathers practicing wa takuna lakum al kibriya fi al ard and the dominion in the land they should be for you both you are aspiring for power you want to drive us from this land and to govern and control this land through your magic wama nahnu lakuma bi mu'minin and we are not going to believe in both of you wa qala fir'aun tuni bi kulli sahirin alim and said fir'aun bring to me every expert magician whosoever is knowledgeable sorcerer call him gather them falamma jaa sahratu qala lahum musa alqu ma antum alqun when the magicians and sorcerers came moses said to them now you cast what you are to cast falamma alqaw when they cast qala musa ma jaitum bihi as-sihr musa said what you have brought and what you have produced is real magic it's magic nothing more inna allah sayubtiluhu very soon allah will prove it to be false prove it to be vain inna allah la yuslihu amal al-mufsidin allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not let the work of mischief mongers prosper wa yuhiqqu al-haqq yuhiqqu allah al-haqq bi kalimatihi and allah will prove the truth to be true through his words walau karih al-mujrimun although the guilty people might not like it they might abhor it fa ma amana bi musa illa zurriyatihi min qaumihi ala khawfin min fir'aun wa malaihim this ayah is also one of the most misunderstood ayat of the quran malaihim most of the people have translated as malaihi malaihi is singular chiefs of firaun malaihim their chiefs so this difference must be kept in mind fa ma amana li musa illa zurriyatun min qawmihi from his own nation also nobody believed in moses except a few youth of his community so there is an important point to note as i told you in the beginning of surah at-tauba that the advent of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was twofold albaisatul khassa albaisatul amma khassa for the idolaters or pagan arabs of the arabian peninsula amma to the whole of humanity for all time to come till the doomsday in the same manner moses was also sent with double you know advent he was a rasul full rasul full messenger towards firaun and his chiefs and also he was a rasul to his own people you will find in surah saf wa qad ta'lamun anni rasulullah ilaykum wa is qala musa liqaumihi 
لما توزون ني وقد تعلمون اني رسول الله اليكم so there was two communities at that time the bani israel the children of israel which were oppressed persecuted badly and you know firaun and his chiefs they were the oppressors so musa was sent primarily to whom this must be noted his primary advent was towards firaun wa malai to the bani israel it was secondary and it was like the mission of a nabi that is why from them he never he, he never said believe me obey me or you will be destroyed this time you know this is the the way the messengers of allah have been saying to the communities or the nations to whom they were sent this he said to to firaun but not to bani israel bani israel you know some of them believed in him some of them helped him some of them you know at many a times they didn't accept his command refused just we have read in surah al-maida the whole of the nation refused to go to war but they were not said that now be ready you will be exterminated what it said to them no so there is difference his advent towards the firaun and his chiefs and his advent towards the bani israel fama amana le musa illa zurriyatun min qaumihi from his own community even from his own community none believed in him except some youth now this is the importance of the youth they must understand for any revolutionary struggle youth are the vanguard they have the courage the potential the older people you know they have to look to their you know maslahat what is to be done to my family and this and that what will happen but youth they are relatively free whatever appeals them they accept it they are ready to sacrifice here also we find this word illa zurriyatun min qaumihi some youth from his nation ala khawfin min firaun wa malaihim due to fear from firaun and their own chiefs the chiefs of bani israel this is actually what should be understood and which has been not been understood by most of the mufassirin as well as the translators because they don't have this you know structure this political structure what happened in india for example the britishers were ruling us but then among us from among the indians they chose some people they gave them the title sir and khan bahadur and of these people were more loyal to the britishers than to their own nation and the biggest example is of karun karun was from bani israel but he was much near to firaun and he was against moses so actually the people who are ruled who are slave who are given to slavery you know their mentality changes and people who are more cunning among them they come near they become more faithful they serve the rulers and they you know get the benefits out of them so they become an oppressor medium for the nation for their own nation they become the agents of imperialism although they belong to the oppressed nation but they becomes agents of the imperialists of the governors to suppress and control the governed people so this is actually min firauna wa malaihim even their own chiefs because they were faithful they wanted to go and have a position in the court of firaun so they they should get a title from him maybe you know some jagir from him ay yaftanahum because they feared that firaun and their own chiefs will persecute them fa'inna firaun al-'alim fi al-ard verily certainly firaun was tyrant on land fa'inna hu lamin al-musrifin and definitely he was from the extravagants wa qala musa ya qaum in kuntum amantum billahi fa'alayhi tawakkalu in kuntum muslimin and so said musa alayhi salatu wassalam 
O oh my people, if you have belief in Allah. Now note, Rasul is not mentioned here. They were a community who believed in Allah. He is not mentioning himself here. If you have real belief in Allah, so you must have faith in him, in Kuntum Muslimin, if you are real Muslims, if you have really submitted to Allah. فَقَالُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ تَوَكَّلُ And they said, okay, we put our faith and trust in Allah. رَبَّنَا لَا تَجْعَلْنَا فِتْنَةً لِلْقَوْمِ الظَّالِمِينَ Oh, our Lord, don't make us a vehicle of trial for these evildoers, transgressors, you know. What does it mean? فِتْنَةً لِلْ You have given them the freedom to persecute us. You are trying them, but on us. You know, but we call in Urdu takhtay mask. Don't make us takhtay mask for these evil doers. Don't make us, you know, an article for their testing. You are testing their them on us. So please, wala tajalna fitna tajil qawmi zalimin. Wala jina bi rahmat kamil al qawmi kafiri. Then deliver us by your mercy, through your mercy, from these disbelieving people. وَأَحَنَا إِلَى مُوسَى وَأَخِيهِ أَنْ تَمَوَّعَ لِقَوْمِ قُمَا بِمِسْرَ بِيُوتًا And we sent the revelation towards Musa and his brother Harun that you appoint for your nation, for your people, houses in Egypt. وَجْعَلُوا بُيُوتَكُمْ قِبْلَةً And you make those houses بُيُوتَكُمْ قِبْلَةً They can be interpreted in two ways. I will let you know. Waqimu salat abu bashir al mu'minin and establish salah and give glad tidings to the mu'minin. This is just like the Baitul Arqam in Mecca. You know, Muslims were not able to go to the courtyard of you know Baitul Allah and pray to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala openly over there in the beginning. So the Prophet had chosen and fixed and appointed Baitul Arqam, a house of a companion. There they used to gather. There you, they used to hold meetings. There they could pray in congregation also. But the same instruction is being given here. It was given to Hazrat Musa because they couldn't pray to Allah openly under that tyrant Firaun. So we. Told them to appoint certain houses, certain dwellings, and then these dwellings, bajalu buyuta kum tiblatan. This tibla can have two meanings: either places of congregation, because this this man is also coming to this place, this man is also coming to this place, this this person, this woman from this side is also. So this becomes tibla for them. So the place of congregation, which everybody is facing, and the second meaning is. You build your houses facing towards Qibla. And this is actually a masterpiece of research done by Maulana Hamiduddin Farahi Rahmatullah Alayhi. He has written a book, Arrayu Sahi Fi Man Hu Az Zabih. And in that he had proved that even for Bani Israel, the Qibla was Baitullah. He has proved from quotations from the Old Testament that whenever they went, wherever they went, they built, they, they, you know, fixed their tent of worship facing direct in the south, and to the south was this Baitullah, because they, they were the progeny of Ibrahim, alayhi salatu wasalam. Ibrahim had, had built this house. How could it be possible? They did that. They didn't know this is the Qibla. Their tent of worship, you know, Qurban Gah, they used, they used to call it. Because there was more of sacrifice in their Sharia than of Salah. But you know, the altar was to be as if, you know, the, whosoever is presenting the sacrifice he is facing south. And towards the south, it is from Palestine to Egypt. If you are facing towards south, it is the Qibla. It is the direction of the Baitullah. So this has been proved by him, Hamiduddin Farahi. You know this book he wrote in Arabic, Arayus Sahih 
Fiman huwa zabi, but it had been translated by Maulana Amin Hasan Islahi, one of his disciples, and it can be had from Pakistan. So this was the command given to them. Ba ohena ila Musa waqiyat, tabu waale qom ko ma be misra buyutan, wajalu buyuta kum qiblatan, waqi musallat abu Bashir al Mu'mini. This is just like the battle or come of Mecca. فَقَالَ مُوسَى رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ آتَيْتَ فِرْعَوْنَ وَمَلَاهُ زِينَةً وَأَمْبَالًا فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا رَبَّنَا لِيُضِلُّ عَنْ سَبِيلِكَ And so said Musa عليه الصلاة والسلام O our Lord You have given Fir'aun and his chiefs the adornment and wealth in the life of this world O our Lord so that they should lead the people astray they have the authority, they have the power, they have the wealth, they have the money, they have all the adornments of this life. And with these they are leading people astray from your path. You have given all these things to them. Rabbana innaka atayta fir'awna wa malahu zinatan wa amwalan fil hayati dunya Rabbana le yudillu an sabili What is the outcome of all this? They are obstructing people from coming to your path. They are forcibly turning them away because they have the authority. They have money to buy people. They can buy any agents from our own nation. Now this is also the final stage when you know the messenger becomes so fed up with the nation to all to the people whom he has been sent that now he is giving you know this this prayer for their azab. Rabbanat mis ala amwalehim. O our Lord, wipe away their riches. Washdut ala kulubihim. And harden their hearts. Fala yu menu hatta yarabu al azab al alim. So that they don't believe before the time of seeing of the painful torment. What does it mean? Now don't let them believe. If they come to believe now, they will be saved. They have persecuted us. They had done all the crimes. Now if you let them come to faith, they will be saved. Now you just put seals on their hearts. This is the prayer of the prophet, of the messenger. You put the seals on their heart. So that they don't now believe. They don't come to the faith, accepting the faith. Before their eyes see this azab, this torment coming. قَالَ قَدْ أُجِيبَ الدَّعْوَتُكُمَا فَاسْتَقِيمَا وَلَا تَتَّبِعَانِ سَبِيلَ الَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Allah replied, The prayer of you two has been granted. We have granted the prayer of you, your prayer. قَالَ قَدْ أُجِيبَ الدَّعْوَتُكُمَا فَاسْتَقِيمَا Now you stand firm. وَلَا تَتَّبِعَانِ سَبِيلَ الَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ And never follow the path of those who don't know. وَجَاوَزْنَا بِبَنِي إِسْلَائِلِ الْبَحْرِ And we brought the children of Israel across the sea. فَأَتْبَعَهُمْ فِرْعَوْنُ وَجُنُودُهُ بَغْيًا وَعَدْوًا Now, Fir'aun and his armies, they chased them, they followed them. Baghiyan, rebelliously, wa'adwa in transgression, transgressively. Hatta iza adrakahul gharaku, till when the drowning overtook him. Qala amantu annahu la ilaha illa alladhi amanat bihi banu Israel. Now we exclaim, oh I come to believe in the Lord in whom the children of Israel believe. Wa ana min al-Muslimin. And I'm, I surrender, I submit. I'm one of the surrenderers. Alam, what now? Wa qad asayta qablu wa kunta min al-Muslimin. And you disobeyed. You have been disobeying before this. And you have been among the mischief mongers. Now today we shall rescue your dead body. 
your badan, your body will be rescued and saved. Le takuna le man khalfa ka aya, so that it becomes a sign for those who are behind you. Wa inna kasira min al nasi na ayat na la gafilun. But you know, very many people from among humanity are they don't pay any heed to our signs and revelations. بَلَقَلْ بَوَّعْنَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ بُبَوَّعَ صِدْقٍ وَرَزَقْنَاهُ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ And we settled the children of Israel in a secure settlement. And we provided them good things, pure. فَمَخْتَلَفُوا حَتَّى جَعَبُوا الْعِلْمِ And they didn't disagree. Till that knowledge came to them. Hatta here has been interpreted by most of the Mufassirin as meaning illa min ba'de ma wa ma akhtalafu illa min ba'de ma jahumul ilm. This is how mostly these words come in the Quran. But this is a peculiar exception. And most of the Mufassirin take it that Hatta here means illa min ba'de ma jah. So what will be the text? Fa ma akhtalafu illa min ba'de ma jahumul ilm. If they differed, it was only after that true knowledge and guidance had come to them. But it can have another meeting where we don't need to change the meaning of hatta here. وَمَخْتَلَفُوا They didn't disagree about the advent of the last messenger. They were all agreed upon that the last messenger is to come. But when that true knowledge came to them, then now they are differing. They all agreed. They were waiting. The Christians were waiting. The Jews were waiting. And you know, because they were saying to the Aws and Khadrat, the people the, of, of Medina, that it, the last prophet is, is near to come. And we shall be with him. And when, when we shall fight you, then you will not be able to be victorious over us. So that was the knowledge that these people of Aud and Khadrat gathered from the Bani Israel. And that is why, you know, the six of them, they immediately accepted Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he, you know, he met them in, in, in this Aqaba, the, the valley of Aqaba, in the tenth year, after he returned from Taif. They looked to each other, oh, he seems to be the same person about whom these Jews go on talking. So they were all agreed upon. They didn't disagree about the advent of the last, last messenger of Allah. Now their Lord will give the verdict between them on the day of judgment. In whatever they had been differing. Wallahu alam. فَإِن كُنْتَ فِي شَكٍ مِمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكُ Here also I disagree with some or let me say most of the translators at least. They think here in these ayat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is being addressed. While I think that it is the reader or the listener he is being addressed. فَإِن كُنْتَ فِي شَكٍ If you are in a doubt مِمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ about what we have sent down. Now this could, I could never ex accept it for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He could never be in doubt. So this is actually the people who were listening to these ayat, to these people to whom you know this, this guidance was directed. If you are really in any doubt about what I have sent down, فَسْأَلِ الَّذِينَ يَقْرَوْنَ الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُ So you can ask those people who were reading the book before you. There are the Jews, they live in Medina. You don't know about prophethood. It's something new for you. But you know you can go and, and, and you know ask them, inquire from them. This total truth has come to you. So you should never be among the doubters. And you should never be among those who denied and refuted the ayat of Allah. The revelation of Allah, then you will become from among the losers. I don't accept that these words can be directed or addressed to Muhammad. Verily, 
those on whom the verdict of your Lord has already fallen, already come. The seal on their heart has already been set by your Lord. Inna ladina haqqat alayhim kalimatu rabbika la yubidun. They are not going to believe. Walau jaatum kullu ayatin. Although all the signs might come to them, they never think that if the signs and miracles are shown to them, they will come to believe. Hatta jalabul azab al-adim. Only if there is any, you know, chance, when they see the torment with their own eyes, then they will come to believe just as Fir'aun, you know, believed when, you know, drowning had overcome him. فَلَوْلَا كَانَتْ قَرْيَةٌ آمَنَتْ فَنَفَعَهَا إِمَانُهَا So that its Iman would have benefited it. إِلَّا قَوْمَ يُونُسْ Except the people of Yunus alayhi salatu was salam. What does it mean? After the signs of the torment start, now the, day, now the gates of Tawbah, repentance, repentance are closed. This is the law. After the signs of death start, for an individual, the gates of Tawbah, gates of repentance are closed. In the same way, went to the nation or the community to whom a messenger was sent and they rejected, denied, belied and now when the signs of the torment, of the punishment started, they said, oh, we believe. Now, it was not acceptable. Except for one. There is an exception and that's the people of Jonah. Hazrat Yunus alayhi salatu was salam. I will give you the answer why. Why this exception? There should be some exception. If exception is there, there must be some reason for it. But this is the meaning of the ayah. فَلَوْلَا كَانَتْ قَرْيَةٌ آمَنَتْ But here you should think that the words are understood. فَلَوْلَا كَانَتْ قَرْيَةٌ آمَنَتْ بَعْدَ إِزْرَاتِ الْعَذَابِ فَنَفَاهَا إِمَانُهَا This has never been the case that a nation, if, he had, if it, it accepted the faith, after seeing the signs of the punishment فَنَفَاهَا إِمَانُهَا and its iman, its believing would have benefited him. No, there was never إِلَّا قَوْمُ Yunus, except the people of Yunus. لَمَّا amanu, When they believed, they repented كَشَفْنَا عَنْهُمْ عَذَابَ الْخِزْيُ We removed from them the chastisement of degradation and humiliation فِي الْحَيَاةِ dunya. In the life of this world, and we provided them and we gave them a fresh lease of existence for a fixed period of time. Now, what was the reason? You know, we have read the ayah in the beginning of Surah Al-Araf, and I explained at that time that this trio, Allah sends the message. To a nation through the messenger. If the messenger fulfills his duty, the all responsibility goes to the people. If somehow the messenger fails to fulfill the duty, the people get a credit. Just like the modern accounting. For each entry, there must be a corresponding entry. For each credit, a debit, corresponding debit. For each debit, a corresponding de- credit. So now there was a discredit to Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam. Why? He left his people without the express permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for this he was punished. He was swallowed by the fish, the big fish. Maybe some whale. Then vomited on the coast. And you know, he begged. He begged the pardon of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minas zalimeen. This was the mistake. He committed. So the discredit became a credit for the nation. Because your messenger left you earlier, then we had allowed him to leave. We had our express. Permission had not come. You must have read in the seerah, you know, 
that the Prophet وسلم, he allowed most of the Muslims to go to Medina, to Yasrib. But he was withholding himself, not going. He was waiting for the express permission of Allah to leave. And this is always. The executive officers can't leave their place of duty without express permission. They are the executives. They have to control the things here. They can't go. They can't leave. Subordinates can go. But the executives, they can't leave. So the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they cannot leave their nations without the express permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This was, you know, a mistake. Are done out of absolutely sincerity, faithfulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He became very much outraged. Why these people are not accepting? They are doomed. Okay, I'm going. Mughaziban. Is Zahaba Mughaziban. But this ghazab was against not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ma'adullah. This ghazab was against the nation. They are doomed. But I'm going. But the express permission had not come. So this is the reason. But on this, you know, I infer, we can also hope to have this concession. Why? Because to us today, no infallible and innocent messenger of Allah is preaching. So we can claim a concession from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just as you gave a concession to the people of Yunus. But this is my idea. You may agree or disagree. And had your Rabb decreed or decided, all would have come to believe. All of them. They are all under our control. According to the saying of the Prophet, the hearts of all human beings are within the two fingers. Between the two fingers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he can turn them in whichever direction he wants. So actually we can do it. But we are, we are testing the people. We are seeing who wants to be guided, who doesn't want to be guided. Who wants to be guided, we shall guide them. Who don't want, well, they, they, we shall let them go their way. So will you, O oh Muhammad, compel people till they become real Muslims, they become Muslims and Mormons? There's no ikraf in deen. As we have in Surah Al-Baqarah, ikraf in deen. At individual basis, full liberty, you are free to believe and you are free to not believe. Imma shakiram wa imma kufura. You can take any way. Had there been no choice, freedom of choice, there couldn't be any question of any reward or any punishment for that matter. So at individual basis, no compulsion, no coercion. But the system, political, social, economic system, that is a different thing. If the Muslims have power, they must change it. And they must try to gather power. To be able to change the system and establish the rule of Allah. But then all the non-Muslims will be allowed. If they want to accept Islam, okay, welcome. We are ready to embrace. But if you don't, you can you can remain as Jews, as Christians, as Hindus, as Buddhists, etc. And it was not possible for any soul to have faith except with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As I told you, there can be nothing. I cannot lift this without the permission of Allah. So how can one believe? But I intended to lift it. The permission came from Allah. I can say I lift it and I can say Allah made me to lift it. So both these things mean the same. And Allah puts filth, impurities on those people, abominations on those people who don't use their intellect. Say to them, now look, what is there in all the heavens and then the earth? And all these signs of ours, these are all signs, divine signs. And all the warners. Uncommon la yumenun, they will not be of any avail to those people who don't want to believe. 
فحالی ان تذیر اللہ مسلا یام الزین خلا بن قبل سو واٹ آر دے ویٹنگ فار ایکسپٹ دی ڈیز لائک دی ڈیز آف دی اینشنٹ پیپل ہو آر بیفور دیم یو آر ویٹنگ فار دی ڈیز لائک دی ڈیز آف ہوت لائک دی ڈیز آف سالے دی نیشن آف سالے دی نیشن آف ہوت دی پیپل آف نو فحالی ان ضرور اللہ مسلا یام الزین خلا من قبل ہی and these these you know days are termed in, in quran in another place ayyamillah fazakkirhum bi ayyamillah remind them referring to the days of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the day when the whole of the nation of nu was drowned the days when whole of the nation of ad was finished done away with the days when whole of the nation of samud so strong a nation was exterminated ayyamullah qul fantadiru inni ma'akum min al-muntadirin say okay if you want to wait go on waiting i am also waiting with you i am also among the waiters thumma nunadji rusulana wal ladina amanu kadhalik and then we shall save and deliver our messengers and those who come to believe in the same way in the same way in which we delivered Nuh and his companions, Hud and his companions, Saleh and his companions, Lut and his family, Shoaib and his companions, Moses and Bani Israel. Summa nunajjiri tusulana wal lazina amanu kazalik haqqan alayna nunjil mu'mineen. This is an obligatory thing upon us, obligatory, that we will deliver and save the people who come to believe. قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ فِي شَكِّمْ مِنْ زِينِي Say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, these are the concluding ayat of this surah. If you are in some doubt about my deen, you are compelling me to come back from this deen, to come to your folds again, to come to the beliefs and dogmas of the forefathers. So it means you are still in doubt about me. Maybe that I accept your your compulsion or your coercion, I give in. Maybe I, you know, turn my back to what I have been saying for the 10 years. In kuntum fi shakkin min deen. If you are harboring even the slightest doubts about my deen, fala abudu al-lazina ta'abuduna min dunillah. I am not going to worship those whom you are worshipping instead of Allah. Walakin abudu allah al-lazhi fa'yata waffakum. I will go on worshipping and obeying Allah, who will take possession of your souls, who will put you to death. And I have been commanded to be among the believers. And, O oh Prophet, set your face steadfast for the religion, for the deen. As an upright man of pure faith, Hanif, وَلَا تَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ and you shouldn't be from among the associators, those who associate others with Allah. Now these ayat can be addressed to the Prophet also and to any listener or reader. They are, they are you know, general. These two both, you know, they are absolutely equal. This again is for the same and the listener and the reader. And don't pray and don't call upon those who cannot benefit you, who cannot do you any harm except Allah. If you do that, you will also be from among the evil doers. And if Allah afflicts you with some hurt, nobody can remove it except Him. When you read Kabi Khairin, Fala Raddale Fadlihi. In the same way, if He intends for you something good, pleasant, then nobody can turn back or obstruct His bounty. You see, Bu Behi Man Yasha Mene Badehi. He gives and bestows His bounty on whomsoever He likes. From among his bondsmen. And definitely, he is Al Ghafur, the forgiving. 
الرحیم بی مرسیفل قل یا ایوہ الناس قد جاکم الحق من ربکم سے او منکائنڈ دی ٹوٹل ٹروت ہیز کم ٹو یو فرم یور لارڈ فمن احتدا فانما یحتدی لنفسی سو ہو سو ایور ٹیکس ٹو دی رائٹ پات ہی ڈس سو ان ایز اون انٹرسٹ ٹو ایز اون بینیفیٹ ومن ضلع فانما یدلو علیہا and who go the stray well he is doing it against his own self he is putting his own self into loss and into doom wama ana alaykum bi wakil i am not a ward or i am not a guardian over you i am not responsible about you wa tabe ma yuha ilaik the last words to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and follow whatever is being revealed to you basmir and persevere have patience hatta yahkum allah until allah gives his command his decision his all judgment wa huwa khairul hakimin and definitely he is the best of the judges بارک اللہ لی و لکم فی القرآن العظیم و نفانی و یاکم بالآیات و ذکر الحکیم